Whether you are mentoring learners, helping people grow their business, or running a fitness group, whatever your niche, if it helps people to grow, uh, it's valuable. Fun community makes it easier than ever to turn those skills into income, and it's packed with all the tools to create an ecosystem where knowledge meets opportunity, like uh, spaces for your community to connect, a powerful course builder to create content, and smooth payment integration to help you earn from it. And if you have followed the series so far, uh, your community is already live and kicking, and it's time to bring all those pieces together. So in this walkthrough, I'm going to show you how to bring all those pieces together. And uh, here I will show you how to create a course from scratch, uh, monetize it using its seamless free integration with Pemetic, and bring in learners to grow your impact. So follow me along and by the end you'll have your course ready and monetized to turn your skills into a money making opportunity. So when I have opened up the Fluent Community dashboard, everything I need uh, is right there, super easy to access. So before I start creating anything, I need to turn on the course module inside Fluent Community. So if I select the advanced section, uh, it takes me straight to the features and add-ons so I can see lots of options there and in the middle of the list the course module catches my eye that's tap on the settings and the checkbox to enable the course module shows up okay so i'll just enable it and save it uh, now it's time to get back home and open courses so from there members of my community can see all the available courses and the courses they are already enrolled in okay so since i'm building a new one uh, for my community, so I'll go straight to new course to create something fresh. The course editor pops up right away, and I just love how quick that is. So first things first, uh, I'm adding a new title. I want something clear and catchy so learners know exactly what they are signing up for. So let's write it as digital marketing. Okay. Uh, then I will set the slug, a unique slug to identify my course. So which becomes part of the course URL also. Okay, so in case you want to promote this course outside this community, uh, this makes the course shareable. Uh, so let me keep it simple. Okay, so here comes the course description. Uh, this is my chance to quickly tell learners what the course is about and why it's owed their time. So I have already created a description for this course. So I'll just paste it there. Okay, so now let's place the course in the right menu group. So that's where this will go. Okay, so then I have got the status settings. Okay, since I am still building things out, I'll, you know, keep it in draft mode. Uh, once it's ready, I'll publish it for ev everyone to see. Okay, so stay tuned for that. So in the access control, I have the privacy settings that allow me to decide uh, on how I want to offer your course. So if I make the course public, uh, it will allow anyone in my community, you know, to find and enroll. So that's great for, you know, open learning or growing your audience. Okay, so private is perfect for, you know, course monetization. Uh, it, it limits access to only those manually added by me or my team or via automation or via paying a fee. And keeping it to secret means your course is visible unless you send someone the link, which is super useful for, you know, uh, for any niche or invite-only stuff. Okay, so this time I'm going with the private. Uh, as for lock screen type, I'm going with custom. It allows me to create a custom payment page for my course to redirect my community members to the payment form. Okay, all right. So now let's talk about the enrollment type. Uh, this one really matters because uh, it controls how your course content gets released. Other ones self-paced. It gives full access from the start, which is uh, you know great for people who uh, prefer to learn at their own speed. Okay. So if I wanted to build a bit more structure, uh, I could go with uh, go with the structured type where you know content unlocks gradually okay so there's also the schedule option which releases each lesson on fixed date for this particular course i want learners to have quick and easy access so i'm sticking with self-paced format so next i have got a few customization options uh, i don't want people you know picking at the content without signing up so i'm leaving that first one unchecked as comments help me you know collect feedback for my course so i will keep it as it is and hide the student count from the course page with a tab. Uh, this is so easy. All right, so time to upload a thumbnail. Uh, I have already got the perfect one, eye-catching and totally relevant to the course. Just let's get it up there. I think everything looks solid, so I'm going to hit create now. So that drops me into the lessons area 
uh, it's a blank slate for now, but soon it will be filled with, you know, valuable lessons. Okay, so I want to make sure the course is structured in a way that uh, really helps learners follow along. So this is why I'll start by creating a section. Okay, so let's add one. Uh, I just name it as Introduction to Digital Marketing and just save it. I think the section is in place. So now it's time to add my very first lesson. I'll just click Add Lesson. I'm going to give a title that resonates with it and hit Add an Edit to jump into the editor. Okay, so this is where I'll drop all the learning material. Um, so let's have a quick look at all the essentials I have got there. So at the top left corner, I have got two checkboxes to enable video embed or comments. So another option to embed media files you know, to make my lesson more engaging. It might be from YouTube, mm, uh, many more. There is also TikTok. So I can trim off the video link uh, and even upload necessary files uh, if I ever need. And this can be pretty useful to create uh, good lessons for my learners. Okay, so moving on to the blank whiteboard, I could just start typing anything relevant to my lesson. But uh, that's a smarter way to do that. Uh, if I press slash on my keyboard, uh, as you can see, a bunch of action blocks sh show up that uh, I can use to build out, uh, build out the lesson. I can also hit the plus icon at the top to access all block types or switch to the patterns tab to see uh, any ready-made layouts. Okay, so now let me add a heading first to highlight my lesson. Okay, so I'll then add a few intro lines Okay, then follow up with the main content. I think it's perfect. So, you know, adding multimedia really helps keep learners engaged and uh, makes things way easier to understand. So, let's try to embed a YouTube video. Uh, here I need to paste the video link and click embed. As you can see, it's embedded sim seamlessly. Nice. So, that's very clean. I can further resize its thumbnail and change dimensions as well. Okay, so let me customize this a bit to, you know, to make it perfect for my learners. Okay, it looks great. Okay, so let's keep the momentum going. Uh, next, I am adding another lessons to my course, uh, like the previous one. I'll add a heading to display what the lesson is about. I think this lesson needs a list. Uh, if I can find a block, uh, this is just gonna get easier. Uh, let's select the plus icon and search for the list. And it's right there. A simple tap on it uh, will bring it into the lesson. So let me add the items now. I think uh, there are some customization options also available there. I'll check them to see whether they're useful or not. Okay, so these are pretty useful to make the lesson pop out. So I'm staying with the default. You can check them if you want. So after that, I will insert an image uh, also to represent things better. So now you know the process, right? So let's do this. So the first section is almost ready. Now I will add another section uh, just to keep things neat and clean and double check everything's working uh, just as I did earlier. So I will tap on add section uh, I'll name my section and just save it. Okay, so let's add a lesson now. So the lesson has an audio file, so let me see if there's any way to do that. Uh, wow, well, I can see multiple options there as I want to upload a file. So I will go with audio, then go with the upload. Okay, so here I will just select the file and hit open. And that's done. Uh, it's embed successfully. So I'll fast forward through the rest so you don't have to throw every step. Uh, while I finish up, uh, you can take a break, grab a snack and chill for a second. Well, uh, as you can see, my course is ready to roll and uh, now I will change the status from draft to published. Uh, just save the changes and redirect me to the lesson page. So my course is set and now it's time to focus on monetization. But before I create the payment form, uh, I want to uh, customize the lock screen because uh, this is what learners will see uh, when they try to enroll my, in my course. So I'll just click on the three dots and go to edit the course. Here at the top, I can uh, easily spot the lock screen over here. So let's open it. Okay, so I have quite a few options uh, there to personalize it. So each one has a pencil button that opens up 
the customization option and an I button that, uh, that you know, hides it from the screen, okay? So to keep things simple, I'll only keep the banner option open and hide the rest of them, okay? It's kind of fun to do, all right? In the banner, I will start by adjusting the heading slightly. I'll replace it with the course name. Then in the description, I'll paste a previously written uh, one to save time. Okay, so next comes the button level. Uh, I want it to be clear and action oriented. So uh, I'm changing buy now to enroll now, which will, you know, sounds better. So the last option is the button link. And this is the part uh, actually I'm pretty excited about uh, because this is where I'll store my payment from. So let's keep it a blank for, for now. Shortly, I'll be back here with my payment form. Flowing community has integration with uh, both Flowing Forms and Paymatic. So here I use Paymatic free version for monetizing this course. Uh, if you don't know what Paymatic is, uh, let me tell you about it briefly. Uh, actually, Paymatic is a powerful WordPress plugin designed for easy and secure transactions. And it also supports 14 plus payment options and Stripe payment is completely free in over 135 plus currencies. So, and only a few simple steps to set up. So that's why uh, it's perfectly fit for my requirements. Okay, so as I have already installed it and speed up the process, so let's get to it. Okay, so for this, I'm using Paymatic because uh, it really simplifies the whole process. So let's get started. I'll open the integration tab and quickly enable Flink Community integration. I think it's done in seconds. So now I'll go to all forms and add a new one, starting from a blank form. So here I'll just need to add input fields to collect the basics. Uh, this is why I'll take name. I'll just take email. Payment item and payment method. Okay, so I'll keep the name and email fields as they are. Uh, then move on to the payment item. Uh, since this is uh, this will handle payment, so I'll rename it to course fee and make it a required field so no one can skip it. Okay, so I'll also change the amount according to the price of my course. Okay, so there are a few customization options available there. Uh, so I'll skip them for now. Uh, okay, so as I have already added the payment method, uh, it will automatically, you know, pull up all available options for my learners to pick their favorite. So right now on the free version, I only have Stripe activated. If you want PayPal, you can go with that. Um, if you want uh, Rezo Pay or more, you will need to upgrade to the pro version. Okay. So I'm okay with this simple payment form. So, but if you want, uh, you can even add more fields like passwords, phone number, consent, etc okay so now i need to connect it to the course uh, i want to sell so let's go to the integration i will add a new integration and pick phone community right away the integration feed pops up uh, i will keep the name as it is then select the course i want to monetize so if needed i can even monetize multiple courses with the same form which you know saves a lot of time so next i will map the email field uh, moving on to the new user's data mapping, I will add the short code for full name in the new user data mapping. And I will also leave the password blank so it's generated automatically. So there are a few checkboxes here. I will tick the one that locks the learner in automatically after submission and also enable the enrollment uh, only after, you know, successful payments. So the others i leave as, as they are, okay? So it looks like uh, everything's set. Uh, let's create the feed. Okay, so it's done. So one last thing. Uh, I want to redirect learners to the course after they submit the form. Uh, so to do this, uh, I will open the settings. Here I can see the confirmation type. So I'll change it to a custom URL. And here I need to provide my course link, okay? So to redirect learners directly to the course, uh, make sure the link is in this format. Uh, first the community URL and then slash courses and then slash the slug of the course and then add your lessons. Okay, so on the other hand, you can just open the course, copy the course and paste it into the box. And after that, don't forget to, you know, save the settings. So with that, my form is all set to take the payments and uh, now I need to embed it to a page. So from there, I will copy the short code uh, so let me open a page and get a block to add the shortcut. It's done.
Uh, now let's save the changes and publish the page to get a preview of this page. So, well, it's good to go now. My course and payment form is ready to roll and now uh, I'll move to my course and open the lock screen. As you can see, the changes I have made is already there. So I'll just paste the payment forms, landing page link. Okay, link here and save changes. Well, uh, now let's see how it works when, you know, uh, someone tries to enroll in my course. So whenever someone goes to the course and tries to enroll in the newly added course, uh, they would be redirected to the payment page, uh, just as it should be. Okay, so to enroll in the course, now they need to provide the infos like email, uh, name, uh, and then tap on panel. Okay, so it takes them to the Stripe payment page. Okay, so in the moment they make the payment successfully, uh, uh, they will be enrolled in the course directly. And that's it. I have created a course for my community members from scratch and converted it into an income source with its integration with Pematic and uh, finally showed how it works from my community members' perspective. So if you want to effectively structure your lessons, monetize courses and track progress and engage them in a dedicated discussion space, uh, you must grab the Flying community. Uh, for complete guidelines, our detailed tutorials are here for you and in the next module uh, where I will be covering the advanced features and integration of Flowing Community. See you there.